I'm Michelle Gasso, and this is something straight out of my mind. So a few videos ago, um, I talked about my pilgrimage to visit the crypt of Freddie Prinze from Chico and the Man. And after I got that video up, I realized there's something else I probably could have talked about uh, to celebrate his memory. And it goes in that along the lines of what they should have done. Um, and this has to do with how the powers that be handled the situation as far as the series Chico and the Man. Now I want to start out, and I'm going to say this right up front and get it out of the way. The situation, the path they took, whatever, however you refer to it, was not, not, not the fault of child actor Gabriel Melgar. Now I say this because it is my understanding that even to this day, he gets a lot of flack for this. This is not his fault. Young actor, he barely spoke English, he took a job. That's the end of it. Um, the decision to, to do the little kid thing was not his. Um, that's it. He's an actor, took a job, um, not his fault. Leave him alone about it let him live his life. That being said, <laughs> I personally think now, thought then, and thought for every year in between that that was the worst possible thing they could have done. Um, I'm still almost speechless on it, but you'll find I, I don't remain speechless too long. Um, first of all, everybody always said that when you bring a little kid into a show, <laughs> that's like that show's death knell anyway. But, but here was this tragic situation, and they actually had time to figure out something to do about it. And I was like, this is what they came up with. They're going to bring in some little kid and try to rescue the show. Now that was bad enough. Um, but, and I'm going to say, I think every fan of Freddie Prinze, Chico and the Man, tuned into that first episode of the fourth season for the sole purpose of seeing how they were going to handle Chico not being there. And they never mentioned it. They never mentioned Chico. I mean, Chico Rodriguez. And they bring in this kid. And it, it, it's like, part of me is like, if that wasn't bad enough. Now, I, I'm going to say in general, I, I don't blame the other actors in the show. I mean, it's their job, they're there. Um, but again, if it wasn't bad enough to do that, there was this whole thing, this exchange, where the character played by Gabriel Melgar, his name was Raul, and at the end of the episode, um, Ed, by Jack Albertson, calls him Chico. And he says, my name is Raul. And Jack Albertson says, you're all Chico's to me. And I'm hoping it's not just me. And actually, I've known since the internet that it's not. Other people have expressed their distaste for that. That, oh my God, this was bad enough that you just literally kind of downplayed and degraded the relationship that Ed and Chico had. Oh, you're all Chicos. You know, you know, one Chico's another. 
That, that's how it came across. And I thought, what an insensitive, ridiculous thing. And and step, you have to step back and say, okay, they were desperately trying to make the show's title relevant. But doing so, doing so at the expense of insulting all the fans? And... and you know, that's when we're part of it. I can't believe Jack Albertson just didn't say, I'm not going to say this. Um, I, 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 got, I couldn't believe it. So that just, you know, elevated the, the distaste for their decision to bring in this little kid. It, it elevated it to a whole new level. Um, I, I, I was just floored. The other thing that they did that was really bad is I think they knew how bad their decision actually would be in the eyes of the fans. And I actually looked this up last night to do this video to count in the episodes where they finally, finally announced that Chico had died. And, and however, you know, tied up that loose end or brought closure, dropped the other shoe. It was episode 14. They actually... And, and they actually made people come back until they did this because the fans were waiting for this. And they didn't really announce, we're finally going to do this. And people were tuning in. Now, I gave up after, I, I couldn't stand it. Um, I have to say at the time, I never did see the episode where Ed tells Raul that Chico had died. And they tell the audience at the same time, obviously, that Chico had died. Because I couldn't stand it. I couldn't stand another episode. I, I forget how many I saw. I, I, you know, I want to say three at most. I, it was like, I, I can't do this. Um, now, thanks to things like social media, I can tell you this and share. And I used to tell people this, you know, one-on-one, -on -one, and the reaction was always, well, do you have a better idea? You know, they were in a desperate situation, you know, it's easy to criticize, do you have a better idea? Uh, yes, I do, did. Um, I, I've been touting this as the solution. In the third season, there were three episodes at the end after Freddy had passed, where no Chico, no no little kid, no nothing. You had Jack Albertson and Scatman Crothers and Della Reese carrying the show for like three episodes. And I think they just could have gone with that. Um, those episodes were not as bad as the fourth season, in my opinion. And there's no question, without Freddie Prinze, the show was going away anyway. And if they had done what I was going, what I'm going to tell you is my suggestion, at least they would have gone with dignity. Um, so you have the actors that were there carry the show, and you want to keep the title of the show relevant. I think you make a point of letting everybody know Chico had passed away. And just like a lot of times in episodes with Freddie Prinze, you would see Ed talk to his deceased wife. I think they could have done something where at the end of every episode, Ed would look up and talk to Chico. So that's how I would have preferred to see it resolved. I think it would have been uh, a better feel for the, the viewers, um, not let, left such a bad taste in everybody's mouths. And like I said, it could have had a more dignified demise as a series. So um, if you think that would have been a great idea, um, a better idea, 
terrible idea, let me know in the comments. And I will see you next time. I've got something straight out of my mind.